Hi, I'm Helen from Twinkle. I'm going to show you today how to use some of our mathematical word cards and flashcards off our website. From number, to shape, to space, to measure, to data handling and more, we've got you covered. Let's take a look. Using these maths number system word cards, you could use natural materials that you've spent time collecting with the children to place the correct number of items by the correct card. With these two digit numeral and number word cards, you could hand one to each member of the class and use them like loop cards. Or in small groups, pairs or individually, you could use them like dominoes. These ordinal number word cards are fantastic. You could cut them up, mix them up, and then get the children to peg them in the correct order on a line. These measures, vocabulary, picture and word cards are fantastic. You could put them on display around your classroom or in a role play area and they cover all sorts of measures. With these 10 time tables flashcards, you could put them face down on a table, play in pairs or perhaps small groups, get each child to turn one over 10 times 6. If they know the answer, 60, they get to keep the card. These British UK coin flashcards can be used in a variety of ways. One way is to scatter them on the table and match the coin to the value. You could also introduce actual coins so that the children can see the size of the coin and what it feels like. Why not use these 10 frame counting to 30 matching game flashcards? Here you could use pegs for the children to select the right number to match the 10 frames. These subtraction word problem cards are fantastic. The children could read them and use counters to figure out the answer. So if you had five birds in your garden and one of them flew away, how many would you have left? With some of the subtraction word problems, you could actually use the items. So if you had five ice cubes, one, two, three, four, five, and two of them melted, how many would you have left? My favourite is you had 20 squares of chocolate and you ate 15 of them. How many were left? These are just a few of our resources that we have available on our website to support learning. Go and take a look, we've got everything you need. I'll see you soon. Thank you.